What's up, guys? Scott Brown here, Construction Technology Partners at Kansas City, Missouri. Uh, today, I got a D65-17 here. I was going to do a quick walk around on and show you. This is a Topcom plug-and-play machine. So for anybody in the market for used machines, uh, if you're looking to run Topcon, and there's other systems that can obviously be put on this thing, but Topcon system installs nicely on this. So I was going to show you a couple of the things on the machine to look out for if you're looking for a machine. So we'll start down here on the ground level. You can see there's a 65XW. If you look here on the back of the blade, we can see these weldments we've got. Primarily probably going to use this center mount. That's where our bracket and T-post would go. So you can see the weldments are already on there. It's nice. Uh, you know, if you're looking at it, use machine. You know, especially if it's been running around, it's got some hours on it. Always check these things. You can see these holes, they got some dirt in them. Threads look good. Shouldn't be a big deal. So that's what we want to see on the blade. We want to see our weldments. We've also got this bracket down here, uh, slip sensor mount bracket. So that's on the back of the blade. As we come up the tracks, we'll get up here, get up on top of the hard nose here. See, we got this big metal box here back behind the uh, the lights. So this box, I took the bolts out of it, lift it off here. Things underneath there, we got both our antenna coax cables and a couple connectors. Um, so these plug and play machines have the majority of the stuff you're gonna need. You're still gonna probably need, I call it a finishing kit, uh, get from your local Top Gun dealer. Um, basically what it's gonna do is it's gonna have whatever mount style bracket you want out here for the blade. And then it's gonna have a box that actually replaces this that these coaxes and these connectors will connect into that allow you to have your quick connects to connect to your antennas. So you see that box, you see that on the blade, you're feeling pretty good. So we're gonna move inside the cab See what else we can find. So once we move inside the cab, we can see here we've got some wiring back here. We'll go through that. I'm gonna spin around first and show you on the dash. We got our display cable. You can see the display cables here for our GX60 or GX55, but that is not going to allow us to mount the monitor. Part of that finishing kit is a bracket that has a mount um, to mount that monitor. So you've already got that, so you don't have to run any of the wiring out to the nose don't you know all this stuff's already on the machine so really what you're adding is a couple connectors and a couple brackets in that finishing kit for i want to say they're 1500 bucks or so like that so we'll spin back around here and we can look back here is where our mcr3 is going to connect up so we got our a and b connections this uh antenna actually runs out of the cab uh, that'll hook in the mcr3 and then i can show you out on the outside you can plug just a short mag base antenna in for your radio so we got our a and b's and then we got our two coax which is nice as this supports a twin antenna system if you're deciding to run that if not you know it'll just have one unused cable but it's got a nice spot that it stores there so all that's right there in the machine mcr3 it's got four mounting holes there would mount right there on that plate so basically drop it in and that's why they call it plug and play for the most part you're just bolting everything up uh, one last thing in the cab should have on your controller here you can see this little button down on the front similar to like what's in the i machines so that's our auto manual button so you reach around it's just right around the front of the right hand work equipment joystick there you'll have that and then i didn't locate this on this machine before i got on it but we'll see if we can find the antenna mount out here real quick while holding onto a phone yeah I think it's right here on the back if I can get stepped up here. One second, bear with me. Uh, I thought it was back here on the back. Maybe it's on the front. It looks like somebody's put maybe a CB antenna on this used machine or something, but I'll, there's a port for that radio to connect into so you can run a mag base so you don't have to run it outside of the cab can maintain a nice sealed cab unit all right stepping back down here but yep so you can see if you're looking at a machine those are the things you want to be on the lookout for uh to my knowledge all the d65-17 machines and d63-23 machines from the factory came top gun plug and play after that 
it was hit or miss. They made it more of an option than uh, as a standard. So just be aware that if you're uh, on the lookout for a used Kamasi machine and you're looking to run a top gun system on it, this is a great way to save you a couple thousand bucks and a bunch of time and headache on an install. So if you've got any questions, reach out to us. We'll be glad to help you get you more, more information we can. Thanks.